Fortnite in 2023 was interesting. Today we're going back and busting every single myth of the year. Warning, this might get weird. Hollow purple versus hollow purple. The moment we've all been waiting for. Who will win? What happens if they collide? Does it cause a crazy explosion? Three, two, one, go. This is almost perfect timing. Huh. So they went right through each other and it caused like a weird purple thing and then it just goes through. So sadly, there's no crazy explosion or anything. It doesn't block each other, but it was still pretty cool. Myth confirmed or, or busted actually. Yeah, definitely busted. All right, this one's gonna be fun. Can you use a web slinger on a reboot card? Luckily, Vader here is gonna test that by uh, jumping and only taking like 10 damage. No! <laughs> All right, here we go. The ultimate test. Reboot card, can you web sling it? You can! Let's go. Myth confirmed. So if you're ever in trouble, you can just grab your teammate and run away. We all know the Falcon Scout can carry down players, but apparently there's an insane glitch that lets you pick up players who are alive. So basically we hired an NPC and it heals you while the drone is on you. Basically just watch. Oh no, I have fallen. Please save me, Falcon drone. Okay, so now the NPC revives me while I'm in the drone. Thank you very much, Mr. NPC. This is a really weird animation. And now, uh, I can fly <laughs> and shoot. So Vader can now fly me around in his drone and I can shoot. I can't really aim, but yeah, this is an insane glitch. Who allowed this into the game? I feel like an action figure. Like this doesn't even look real. Can I use the guardian shield? I can. I am a moving flying shield. Ha! If I saw this in a real game, I would probably just throw up. Myth confirmed. So I've seen a few people try this, but apparently if your teammate drives into you with a quad crasher while you're sprinting, uh, you basically fly off the map. So let's see if that's true. So I'm gonna sprint just like this, and now Vader's gonna come up behind me, and... Oh, wow! Am I gonna die? No, I just landed on a leaf. Dude, that is insane. Myth confirmed. So this is the most insane glitch I've ever seen. Using a shield keg, a bike, and impulse grenades, uh, we can make some insane things happen. So here's the deal. Park a dirt bike underneath the stair. And if you throw a shield keg right exactly on top of the dirt bike, crazy things will happen. So throw the shield keg, break this thing, and then a shield keg lands on the bike. Now you have a movable shield keg, which is already insane. But that's not the crazy myth. Watch this. I did not expect that at all. I knew you went flying, but wow, that was crazy. That's actually the funniest thing I've ever seen. Um, if I somehow landed that, I would have gotten the world record for a bike score, but uh, instead I died. So yeah, myth confirmed, that was crazy. If you stick onto a moving car, do you get pulled around with it or does it just kick you off? Let's find out. Uh, I think it just kicked, oh wait. Oh, it works, you could just, ride through a car. I actually did not expect this to work at all. That is actually sick. I feel like I'm playing a different game. As soon as you bump into the car, it kicks you off, but otherwise this works pretty well. It also says move forward to pick up speed sometimes, which is weird. So maybe this is a bug and not supposed to happen. Either way, it's pretty sick. So yeah, uh, it definitely works until you get stuck in a fence and then it's it glitches you out. Uh, myth confirmed. That's insane. So apparently there's a brand new glitch with motorcycles where you can jump and then mantle over your own motorcycle and get launched 100,000 feet into the air. Is it true? Let's find out. Oh, I did it. I don't know how, but do I die? Yep. Well, good news and bad news. Good news is I got it to work. Fortnite didn't patch it. Bad news is uh, now I died. Myth confirmed. So you guys have probably already seen this, but there's actually an invisibility glitch where you can turn invisible. I know, and it's actually super easy to do. Let's see if it still works. First, you get into a truck, you swap seats, you aim with the red dot, and then you get out, and uh, yeah, you're invisible. This is not supposed to happen. It's so easy to do, and it lasts forever unless you use a red eye again. Honestly, I thought this was gonna be patched by now. It's been out for like two weeks, but uh, it's not. 
Sadly, you're only invisible to yourself and your enemies can still see you, but it's still super cool. Seeing a floating pistol reload is not something you see every day. Myth confirmed. Can you drive your hoverboard in the ocean? So normally, once you touch this water, it's an instant death. But if you drive really slowly with a rift board, like really slowly, bam, you are in the water. And then you can just drive outside the map. No other vehicle would let you do this. Normally, you would insta die, so this is crazy. Myth confirmed. Uh oh. This is a snowball. A bad hiding spot. Or is it? Apparently, if you stay in a snowball, you take zero damage from Deku Smash. Let's see if that's true. So, Vader's in our snowball. I am going to smash him. And it's true. You do not take any damage. Wow. That is insanely far. So we're gonna try the impulse glitch where the car goes flying. Basically, if you drop a shield keg on a car and then impulse it, it explodes. But now we're gonna try it with a shield. Perfect. And then break this and get it. Oh, it does work! Oh. Well, uh... That's the most insane thing I've ever seen. Now I'm stuck in the middle of the ocean. I flew from Anvil Square basically across the entire map. So, on Vader's screen, all he saw was an explosion. I flew into a building, and now I ended up here. So, we're gonna have to say myth confirmed on that one. Plane versus plane, maximum charge. Or boost, or whatever it's called. What will happen? Here we go. Never mind. Oh! Okay, so that was not as bad as I thought. My plane only took like 20 damage. Try one more time. And... Yeah, okay, so you take damage, but it's really not that bad. I would have expected worse, but kind of surprising. I'm gonna go myth-busted on that one. That was kind of sad. What happens if you use an ice wall on one of the mythic weapons? It says you can't spawn there, but what if I just... Move all the way to the bottom. Okay, never mind. What if I do like right there? What? It completely disappeared. Hold on, we found an actually cool glitch. Vader? I think we found a cool. Whoa! So it goes through the glass and then it automatically breaks it because it's not supposed to be able to break the glass. That's so cool. This is weird. Interesting. So if you spawn an ice wall next to any of the mythics, it's going to completely break your ice wall. Myth busted. Can you damage yourself with the force rocks? I really hope not, because I don't have that much health. I'm going to throw them straight in the air. And... Oh. It didn't land on me. All right, let me try one more time, but this time I'm actually going to run into a rock. Here we go. Ah! Dude, this is hard. Oh! Okay, that definitely hit me. And I took zero damage. Myth busted. Good to know. Because I definitely would have accidentally done that. Apparently, Thunder Spears will do damage through builds. So if somebody is boxed up and you shoot through the box, it will damage them. So Vader's boxed up. But sadly, with a Thunder Spear, it does 70 damage through the builds. This is a car. Obviously. And apparently, there's a new glitch that allows you to pickaxe the driver of a car. What you gotta do is swing your pickaxe as you enter the car. So hold down that button, enter the car, and then look at Vader. Wait, it's not working. Hold on. There we go. Get destroyed, Vader. So basically what you have to do is hold down your pickaxe button at the same time that you enter the car. And then if you look at the driver, you can hit them a few times. It's kind of crazy. Let's see if Vader can do it. Ow, 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 stop. Okay, we get it, you can do it. So yeah. That's kind of insane. Myth confirmed. Will bees stack? So I've got two jars right here. Normally the bees do like eight damage per second and they last for like eight seconds. I'm gonna throw two bees at Vader and see if it doubles it. One bee, two bees, 16, nine, eight, eight, eight. Okay, so it, it doesn't double. It does the exact same damage that one bee would even though there's a lot of bees flying at him. Probably the, the scariest thing ever, and the bees are gone. So, myth busted. Sadly, the bees do not stack, but they look like they stack. What happens 
if two ODM gears go against each other at the same time. This is the epic battle of Titans. We're attacking the, the Titans. All right. The ultimate battle that we've all been waiting for. Oh! Well, I glitched the game and we both did damage. Sounds like a win in my book. Now, the real question is, what's better? ODM gear or the Spider-Man Mythics? Today, we're gonna see which one is faster. All right, we're both gonna go to this tree and see what's faster. Three, two, one, go. I got stuck, but I think, where did Vader go? What? Uh, I'm definitely gonna die in a storm right now. Never mind, Vader did. It's kind of insanely hard to test it, but I think the Spider-Man Mythic is faster. I'm not sure though, but I'm gonna say Myth confirmed. Do you get a headshot bonus with the Straw Doll, Straw Doll, Doll? All right, here we go. Does this have a headshot bonus? So this normally does 20 and then it explodes for 70. But will a headshot bonus do anything extra? Headshot. No, in fact, I also took damage. Will Todoroki's Ice Wall save you from fall damage? Let's find out. Yes, yes it will. Even though I hit this stupid tree. Let's try that one more time just to make sure. And we're good. Can you take a plane to Spawn Island? It's really not that long of a flight. Spawn Island is right there. Wait. No, plane! No. Oh, we're good. It tried to stop. It's turning automatically, guys. I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm, I'm not a bad pilot. It really doesn't want me to go to Spawn Island, but I'm trying my best. Turn, plane. So if you keep turning and boosting, you get a little bit closer every time. Oh, it really hates me going to Spawn Island. So stupid. Just let me go. Oh, I'm running out of gas. Lovely. Well, I guess the answer is not really. Sadly, myth busted. What happens if two people do a force push on each other at the same time? Three, two, one, go! I got hit by a grill. All right, let's try this one more time. One, go! Goodbye, car. And goodbye, me! Myth busted. What's the maximum distance that you can swing with a web shooter? That piece of metal is currently 32 meters away. I'm gonna keep backing up until- Oops. I'm gonna keep backing up until it goes away. And it's actually going much further than I thought. And it looks like right about- Wait, what? Nope, it's still going. Okay, right about there. Until it switches to a new target. It's about 55 meters-ish. Yeah, about 55 meters. That's not bad. Myth confirmed. Will a force pull- Pull somebody who's driving in a car. So Vader's driving back and forth. Oh! Okay, I did not expect that. I expected it to pull, but I didn't expect him to actually be kicked out of the car. So you can literally pull somebody out of a car. That's insane. And then he got hit by the car. Oh! Which is hilarious. Myth confirmed. That's crazy. Apparently, with the hammer, you can bounce on water. Let's see if it's true. Here we go. Whoa, it works. So for whatever reason, the shockwave hammer actually allows you to bounce on water. Pretty cool. Myth confirmed. So now I'm going to test which one's better. We're going to use the Kamehameha at the same time as Deku Smash and see which one's better. The ultimate test. The circle's about to come down. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Here we go! Come on, man, man. Okay, I went a little early. Right when that clock hits zero, me and Vader are going to fight for the final time. This time, I've got Deku Smash. I'm kind of nervous. Two, one, go! Oh, this is perfect timing! Come on! Woo! Let's go! His beam hit me! But mine hit him better? I think I had a little bit more health than him. That was insane. I thought I died. How much health do I have? Dude, you know what they say, third time's the charm. That was kind of crazy. The beam was like in my face. Myth confirmed and also busted because I don't know. So apparently Fortnite updated the Deku Smash so that it no longer goes through the Guardian Shield. Here we go. Will it go through? Oh. They're right, but 
Does it work for the Kamehameha? Let's find out. Take this, Vader! It just eats it! The Guardian Shield is overpowered now! Stop that! What are, whatever you're doing. Stop. Myth confirmed, the Guardian Shield is insane. Now, here's the deal. What happens if you 1v1 with Deku Smash? If you do it at the exact same time, what happens? Do both of you die? Let's find out. Vader and I are both full health. Are you ready? Do it on go. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. We missed. What happened? I thought we were good at this game. Well, uh, uh um, I'm out of Mythics, so it's time for the 1v1 again. This time we're not gonna miss. All right, on go. One, go. This is almost exactly the same time. And we missed again. Even though I was right on you. Something's broken. The smash goes directly through the enemy without doing anything. I'm confused. I don't know. Well, that's anticlimactic. I don't know what happens, but maybe you can't use it if someone else is using it. I'm not sure. But either way, myth busted. This is four ice walls. Vader plays two and I place two. And now we're going to test something crazy. How many ice walls can a rocket ram go through? Is it all four? Is it only a few? Let's find out. One, two, three, four. Wow. It's just shredded all of them. The rocket ram is insane. Myth confirmed. Will Deku smash one shot somebody in a car? Let's find out. That's insane. It did not one shot, but I think it did 140 damage and it did like 300 to the car. Um, that car went flying. Can you use Deku Smash to open up the Kamehameha capsule? I have a feeling it's going to throw the capsule somewhere else. Please. Oh! Wait, it worked! It does open it! Dude, I did not expect that at all. Myth confirmed. Can you use the Mythics off of a bike? The nail you can, but what about the hollow purple you can? And I accidentally killed Vader because the bike is actually faster than it. That was weird. Uh, myth confirmed, I guess. So when you use a thermal scope, you can see thermal wumpa. Vader, kill the rep. Oh, okay, never mind. Anyways, so here we're gonna test if using invisibility helps with the no, my rep. Was that necessary? Anyways, we're gonna see if using invisibility no longer makes you thermal. And uh, it still does. So this is actually pretty good for the thermal scope. You can see people, like right now, I can't see Vader pretty much at all. But with the thermal scope, you can see his outline very easily. Myth confirmed. This makes the thermal DMR a little bit better to carry. Have you ever wanted to be super toxic? You probably shouldn't, but you can with the Falcon Scout. But what you can do is drop a teammate from really far up and they just get eliminated. It's all right, Vader. I'll save you with the Falcon Scout. All right, let's grab my friend Vader. And then uh, instead of helping him, we're just going to fly really high. Do I feel bad? Yes. Actually, I don't. Weak signal. Oh, no. What are we going to do? Bye, Vader. <laughs> I win. Even though we were on the same team. I don't know what just happened. Myth confirmed. So obviously, everybody knows you can't destroy a reboot van. It's invincible. You walk up to it, you can't even hit it. But with Deku's smash, is it a free way to get an easy kill? So let's say Vader's behind the reboot van, and let's say he's rebooting somebody. If I use Deku's smash and launch it at the reboot van, it does 100 damage through the reboot van. Yeah, you heard that right. Through an invincible thing. Oh, what just happened? Through an invincible object, Deku's smash still did 100 damage. How insane is that? Myth confirmed. This is shaping up to be one of the best mythic weapons we've ever seen. I have three balloons and I'm flying very high up. Uh, I'm gonna find out if you could use Deku Smash while floating at max height with three balloons. Let's find out. Okay, so you can use it, but does it do damage? It doesn't. Poor NPC. What, how did he survive that? <laughs> His entire thing is destroyed except for him. He's just standing dancing. Well, uh, 
I don't know if this is busted or not, but I guess I'll say myth could bust it. Apparently throwing a guardian shield on a drone actually makes it float. Uh, let's see if that's true. This time I have a plan. I'm actually gonna get closer. Okay. Oh, it does work! <laughs> Wait, not really. Wait, so instead of following the drone, it just gets stuck in the air. And it stays there the whole time. That's uh, pretty funny. I don't know if this is helpful at all. It probably isn't, but uh, it's cool. So, myth confirmed. Apparently on low graphics, the invisibility is insanely busted. On regular graphics, you can kind of see an outline of Vader right here. It's not great. Like, it's definitely hard to see, but you can see the outline pretty well. But if I went over to low graphics... Wow, my game looks horrible. Wait. That's not that bad. It's actually better. I actually find it easier to see the invisible person on low graphics than I do on high graphics. So it seems like the high graphics are at a disadvantage. So I was gonna say myth busted, but it's more like myth unknown. Or I was wrong. I was just completely wrong. So myth confirmed, whatever. What's the maximum distance a nail can travel? It looks like a lot further than we thought. Dude, it's like, how far does this go? All right, how about 260? All right, surely it doesn't go 350 meters. Huh? Does this thing go across the map? I am now over 500 meters away. The render distance doesn't even know where the builds are. I had no idea this nail would go forever. All right, Vader's gonna tell me if that broke. It broke. Uh, so yeah, this thing is infinite. Myth confirmed. That's insane. If you're invisible and you hatch a raptor, does it hate you? Oh. Um, I have become a raptor. What? Oh, never mind. I'm on top of it. <laughs> For some reason, I thought I became a raptor. So, uh, you could actually ride an animal while invisible, and it'll just look like the animal. So, myth confirmed. That's not bad. What happens if you throw an ice wall directly onto a turret? Whoa! The turret shreds the ice wall. Hold on, let me try that again. Take that turret! Is it just covered in ice now? So my turret is just inside the ice. I see its little laser beam right there. Wait, Vader, stand right here. Oh, that would have been so sick if it sees him. But sadly, it does not. But you can cover a turret in ice for some reason if you wanted to. Myth confirmed! Can the new cars drive on water? Wait, it actually kind of can. Wait, usually they sink by now. Um, did I just find out that we now have drivable boats? Okay, so I'm going regular speed, and I'm legitimately driving across the water, no problem. Every other vehicle sinks. Um, okay. That's insane. These cars get better and better. Myth confirmed. We all know that you can pick up reboot cards with the Scout. But the question is, can you pick up a victory crown? Now, normally me and Vader would show you guys ourselves, but uh, we don't get victory crowns because we're bad at the game. Yeah. So we're gonna react instead. So there's a victory crown. Does it work? Oh, it does work. I'm not gonna lie. I did not expect that. So if your teammate dies with a victory crown, you could literally use your Falcon Scout to steal it before you even revive them. Kind of funny. Myth confirmed. So everybody knows the insanely cool new bikes. But what happens when two bikes collide at full maximum speed? I'm actually extremely scared. I feel like we're gonna explode or something. We're gonna drive directly into each other. Here we go. And we missed. You guys didn't see that. The time for attempt number two. Here we go. Vroom, vroom. Go. And, oh, nothing. Nothing happens. I was actually expecting like a huge explosion or some sort of flip or something. Myth busted, sadly. I thought we were gonna explode. See these purple rocks? They get launched by your pickaxe. So I came up with an idea. What if we do it with a mythic? Does it do a mega launch? We're in the storm, but it's fine. We're gonna find out. Whoa! It does do a mega launch. How far did that go? Bro, that went so far. That went like over here. That was like 200 meters. Myth confirmed. I found a glitch 
from the GOAT, Cypher PK. And we're gonna see if it got patched. So apparently, if you drive this cart into this bush, you get into first person mode, and then you're stuck under the map. Let's see if it's true. Ah! That did not work. But now my golf cart's stuck. Let's try that one more time. What? Vader! You can't be doing that! Now Vader is literally under the map. That is disgusting. Myth confirmed. Can you push or pull a reboot car? Sadly, Vader's gonna be the one testing it. Bye, Vader. Ooh. There is Vader's reboot card. Can you use the force push or pull on it? Let's fuck. I just sent Vader's reboot card 100 meters into the storm. If you're an enemy, you can force push somebody's reboot card away. But if it's on your team, you can force pull it towards you. So, actually really sick. Myth confirmed. Uh, sorry, Vader. Will the hollow purple one-shot a car? Ta-da! What just happened? I think I just missed. Will it one-shot a car? Let's find out. Take that co Okay. It does no damage to a car, and instead it picked it up and threw it. I didn't even think that was possible. This is a wall, and I'm going to stand 200 meters from it. When Deku Smash originally came out, we tested it, and we found out that 200 meters is its maximum distance. But now we're going to see which one is further, the Kamehameha or the Deku Smash. Let's try Deku Smash first. I'm 185 meters away. And that... Breaks one wall. Interesting. But the Kamehameha. What? What just happened? I have broken Fortnite. What? Myth confirmed. It just used the Kamehameha and it didn't work. Okay, there we go. I don't know what just happened, but. And the Kamehameha destroyed all four blocks. Interesting. I originally thought that the Kamehameha was way shorter, but we just proved that it actually goes further. What do you think about this, Vader? Uh, I gotta go. Bye, Vader. See this victory crown? Yeah, I'm about to lose it. But I'm gonna try a cool myth with it. Goodbye, victory crown. And now, I hope you find a new home. I don't know why I'm doing this. Let's see if it travels really far away. Well, it's right here. So, it didn't move it at all. So, I'll be taking that again. Myth busted. So, it didn't work with the victory crown, but apparently the reboot card, if you use a Deku Smash on it, will fly across the map. So, we're gonna test it on Vader. So, there's Vader's reboot card. And if I directly hit it, right about there. Huh? Well, that didn't work at all. <laughs> all right. Let's try that one more time. There we go. I knew it would work. Wow. That went very far away. Now I can't collect his card. So in order to dodge the damage, once you get shot with the Excalibur, you need to quickly emote and run away. And once you emote, for whatever reason, the Excalibur drops the bullet and it doesn't explode on you. It's going to be hard to pull off, but let's see if it works. Good luck, Vader. You're so slow. All right, let's try one more time. Are you kidding me? All right, here we go. Vader's gonna shoot me this time. I'm ready to emote. No, I wasn't ready. One final try. It worked, I think. Except now this guy's mad at us. So it was hard to tell, but once he emoted, the explodey thing stood in place, and he did not take any extra damage. So it does work, but it's really hard to do. Myth confirmed. Hey, Vader. Do you use code tomato? I hope so. What? I hope so. What? No way. He did it again. You are a cheater. What? I died. So there's a crazy glitch. I don't know if this is well known or not. Basically, if you Falcon Scout a certain way onto an animal, it teleports you to it. It's really weird. 
I'm not sure if it's gonna work, especially because this animal keeps running away from me. It's not working. Well, here's what's supposed to happen. It's a really weird glitch. I don't exactly know what's going on, but this player just drives the drone in, and eventually you're able to ride it, and it glitches your game out, and then it teleports you on top of the wolf. Maybe it, it can only work on a wolf? I don't know. It seems really hard to figure out, but either way, Myth confirmed if you could do it. Now we're going to test if a Clombo can break through an armored wall. Wait! The Clombo just destroys it instantly! Let's try one more time. Wow! Okay. So yeah, armored walls do not work against the Clombo. Will you be able to damage an enemy through an ice wall with a Deku Smash? Alright, here we go. Hide behind there. Deku smash perfectly. No way. I did not expect that to happen. He avoided all the damage. And he got icy slide. That's kind of not fair. Myth busted. What's the maximum distance that the boomerang will go? Let's try 60. Dude. This thing goes insanely far. All right, let's try 80, I guess. What? What is the maximum distance of this thing? At this rate, I'm going to murder Vader. All right, 110 meters. Surely it doesn't hit him from here. Okay, finally. It's got to be like 84. Okay, Vader's telling me that's basically touching him, so it's got to be really close to this. There we go. 83 meters is the maximum distance, which is way further than I thought. This thing is broken. Myth confirmed. So apparently... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Apparently this boomerang can go through walls. And you might be like, Tomato, that doesn't make any sense. You're throwing it at a wall right now, and it's just bouncing off the wall. But watch this. If I throw it this way and then move behind a wall... Wait, I'm confused. It didn't go through, but it came back to me at the same time. Oh, it just... Okay, all right, yeah, it definitely works. That is bad for my enemies. Let's try it on Vader. If I stand on top of him, throw it this way, and then stand over here... Dude, what? It hurt him through his box. It did 60 damage right through the walls. Came right back to me. That's broken. Myth confirmed. Another cool thing about the boomerang, apparently it actually locks onto the players, which is why it does so much crazy damage. But the real question is, will it lock onto a player if they're gliding in midair? So Vader's above me gliding, and if I just chuck it in any direction, will it hit him while he's gliding? Uh, seems like no. Oh, just kidding. It did it. Did you see that? I'm about to die to the storm, but it worked. Uh, I'm dead. I'm totally dead. Guys, before I lose, make sure to use code tomato. <laughs> bushes are back in this season, and they're kind of crazy. Maybe. Apparently, bushes block you from taking explosive damage. So grenades, RPGs, remote explosives, you could all be protected from that with leaves. Isn't that insane? Why did they do that? I have no idea. Is this how it was in old Fortnite? Maybe. But now, let's test if it's true. I'm extremely nervous. It works. Will somebody take damage on the other side of a build after it explodes with the straw doll? So, I don't know if you can see him, but Vader's right on the other side. Right there. Now, if I throw this on the build... No! It actually protects him. Which is interesting because this has an explosion radius. But it seems like if they're behind a build, they do not take damage. Myth busted. Whoa, whoa. How'd that just happen? So you could walk into the explosion afterward. Stop it. <laughs> Why are you doing that? I'm confused at what's happening. So it explodes after. Bro, you said... Wait, have we discovered a weird glitch? So it doesn't explode until after he moves. Interesting. Hold on, let's try it again. So now stand still for a minute. It's not exploding. Nothing happens. And now nothing happened. What? I'm so confused. Is there a certain amount of time where it matters? Or did we just find a glitch? Oops. I'm so confused. <laughs> what did we just discover? Somebody who's smarter than me. Tell me what's happening. I think we've just discovered a really weird interaction. That is so weird. Uh, I'm gonna just go with uh, myth confirmed and also busted at the same time. Somebody please let me know what's happening. So this is Vader. And Vader's on vacation. He has 200 ping. 
and I'm going to ruin his vacation by destroying him with Thunder Spears. I'm going to try to land a Thunder Spear on another Thunder Spear. Is it gonna work? Probably not. We're both aiming exactly at each other's heads, which means our Thunder Spears should collide. And three, two, one, go! Okay, well, they didn't collide. I feel like they crossed each other. So it's too fast for us to really tell. We're gonna try one more. I'm not sure it's possible, but I'm gonna put a replay just in case. We'll do a little slow-mo to see if they actually hit each other. Okay, we're bad at this. The ultimate balloon test. What happens if you use balloons on a hoverboard? I'm already hovering, so I should just hover more. Bruh. Bruh. No way. Cannot do that now. Why? Fortnite hates fun. Boo. Myth busted. Can you be impulse grenade while you're holding a guardian shield? Oh, you can't. Let's try that again. Dude, it just eats it. And without the guardian shield, you get flown. Whee! Myth confirmed. What happens if you force pull each other at the exact same time? We're going at 45 seconds. It's lagging. Oh, perfect. Ooh, it glitched and neither of us pulled each other. I did not expect that at all. Hold on, let's try that again. 16, 15. Oh, this is perfect. Exact same time. Dude, that's insane. If you force pull each other at the exact same time, it cancels out and nothing happens. Myth confirmed. That's awesome. Because normally, I would just pull. Ooh. That is sick. This is 160 meters of wood. And apparently this Cybertron cannon goes insanely far. How far? That's what we're gonna test. So I'm gonna launch this towards Vader and it, it just obliterated that. This could go way, way further. Vader is now 300 meters away. Let's see how far it goes. That went way past him again. Dare I say this doesn't have a max distance? Vader said it probably went like 200 meters past him, which means I think it's safe to say that this Cybertron cannon goes 500 meters. We have never had a mythic weapon that went this far ever. Like, look at this. This is not even fair. Hold on, Vader saw where it blows up and he just pinged it. It's about 430 meters away. That's it's that's like really far. Myth confirmed. This thing is crazy. Does mud save you from fall damage? It would make sense. Kind of like a soft, squishy material. Here we go. Ah! <laughs> no, not at all. Myth busted. We all know the Cybertron cannon goes insanely far, but can it save you from fall damage? Let's find out. I'm gonna shoot it. I'm bad. I completely timed that poorly. Well, uh, Vader's too far away to revive me, but here's a spoiler. It works. Apparently, mud stops you from being seen in thermal vision. They were not lying when Fortnite said that mud is going to camouflage you. Vader, get in it. So, Vader's in the mud, and would you look at that. With the thermal vision, I can't see anything. But if we aim at him while he jumps in the water, boom, immediately thermal vision. So, as soon as he's clean, it works. So the mud does indeed camouflage you, myth confirmed. Can you use a guardian shield while on an animal? So first I'm gonna test if you could use it while riding. Hey, 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 get back here. All right, so, ooh, you can use it, but it gets you off your animal. That's sad. On a bike, you literally just can't use it. At least on an animal you can, but it kicks you off. You could also throw it if you want to. What happens if you throw the shield on an animal? No, it doesn't work. Will a shield bubble attach to a bike? This actually worked last season. I don't know if you guys remember, but that was with a different bike. I just line it up. It does. It works again. Now you can have your own personal, personal. Now you can have your own personal moving shield bubble. And it even works with super speed. So I've just created the fastest shield bubble on earth. Myth confirmed, that's good to know. Will the Thunder Spear save you from taking fall damage? Obviously the ODM can, but if I jump up and use the Thunder Spear, wait, I did it wrong. Yeet! Uh-oh. Oh, it does. 
For some reason, I was not expecting that. Myth confirmed. Will the shield bubble protect you from Thunder Spear explosive damage? Or does the Thunder Spear go right through it? Let's find out. Here we go. So, if I stand out of the shield bubble and do this, it does do damage. What? Through the shield bubble. Also, Vader fell in the water, which is actually funny. So, the actual thunder stops at the shield bubble, but it does damage through it. So, the shield bubble doesn't really protect you, which is good to know. Myth confirmed. This is 20 pieces of wood. Just kidding, it's 17. I miscounted. But 17 is enough. And now we're going to do the ultimate test. Deku Smash versus Kamehameha. Which one breaks more wood? First up, we're going to do the Kamehameha. Which officially breaks 14. Now I know what you're thinking. Tomato, that was all of them. But it wasn't. It actually ended up breaking the bottom, which got rid of the other three. But the actual Kamehameha got rid of only 14. So now let's try that out with Deku Smash. I'm kind of nervous. Here we go. Right down the middle. Destroyed. Okay, well that was less than 14. Once again, it broke the bottom, so it got rid of all of them, but I'm pretty sure that was like 12 or 13. I'm like 90% sure it broke less. So does that make the Kamehameha better? Maybe. So back in the day when Deku Smash was originally in the game, it had an insanely far range of 200 meters, which is an insane amount. Now we're gonna test if it's exactly the same. That piece of wood where Vader's at is exactly 200 meters away. Will it go this far? Let's find out. Come on. Come on. Wait, what happened? Don't tell me it's been nerfed. Let's try that one more time. Please work. Oh, it worked. I think. It hit Vader. Vader, have you been injured? It only went to here? I think Deku Smash got an insane nerf. That's like a, a 70 meter nerf. It used to go 190 meters with the little extra 10 meter tornado. Now it only goes about like 130, maybe. I did not expect that. Myth busted. Deku Smash is now garbage. Can a lightsaber block a grenade? This is kind of stupid, but I'm curious. Make sure to hit it perfectly, Vader. Wait, it does. Ha! Take that. LOL. You can't hit me. I've got a lightsaber. What happens if I'm just like normally standing? Oh! Ah! So it does work. Myth confirmed. I hate you, Peter. Sorry. I let my anger take over. <laughs> just Anakin things. Will a lightsaber save you from fall damage using the brand new force jump ability? Here we go. I'm just gonna jump off. Oh, it does. Myth confirmed. This is 15 pieces of wood. How many builds will the hollow purple go through? Let's find out. Oh! It's still going! That was all of them, right? I know it kind of broke the bottom, but if it went through those over there, I was at least 15. It dissipated like a little bit further, so it would probably go through like 16 or 17. What happens if you send a rogue bike at full speed into a dirt bike? Will they explode? Will we crash? Let's find out. Hey, it's a little whip. Here we go. Oh! Ha! Okay, so I didn't take any damage, but I got knocked back a lot. And Vader didn't get knocked out. What? This is like bumper cars. Myth confirmed. Take this little whip. Ow. All right, I've got a sharp tooth shotgun. Let's test out its maximum distance. I really don't think it's gonna do 50, but let's try. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, this is way further than I expected it to be. 60? 65? Let's try 65. Bro, no way. I know it only did six damage, but the fact that it's even doing damage from this far is insane. All right, no way it does damage from 75 meters. Okay. So not 75, how about 70? Does four, three. Okay, so the maximum distance is 73 meters, which is disgusting. This is a shotgun, by the way, a shotgun. Can you double pump in season one? 
I've got two pump shotguns here. The ultimate moment of truth. One. Oh, you can't. Oh, that would have made this season epic. Sadly, there is no double pumping. They still have that little cooldown thing. Myth busted. So apparently there's a crazy interaction where if you Deku smash an ice wall, you actually get icy boots. Or icy slide, whatever that augment was called. If you Deku smash it, apparently you get ice. Bam! There it is! I don't know why they added this. It's like the only way you can get icy slide now. Myth confirmed, don't run me over. Can you drive a cart in water? For some reason, yes. It's not like my en oh, not like my engine is underwater or something, but it's fine. Oh, oh golly. What is happening? So yeah, some really weird water interactions this season. Myth confirmed. Will a shopping cart save you from fall damage? And here we go. Move, Vader. And we're good. That just absolutely breaks every law of physics ever. How can this thing stop this? Hey, do not touch my shopping. Get out of my shopping cart. Shopping carts are actually insane this season. Myth confirmed. So this is an explosive repeater. It's a brand new weapon, and basically it replaced the heavy sniper. So what I'm gonna do is test the headshot damage with and without the new perk where heavy ammo weapons have increased headshot damage. So, do you have enough health for this? Hopefully it doesn't do 183. Nice, 119. So let him heal up. And now, once I select the perk, let's see how much damage it does. 124. That's it? Five more damage? Uh, that's actually way worse than I thought it was. I'm gonna have to give that a myth busted. That's kind of a useless perk. Can you block a sniper shot with a lightsaber? And instead of testing this in game, I'm just gonna show you a clip from my last video. Oh, Dude, I just accidentally blocked a sniper shot. Oh, so yes, you can block an entire sniper shot with a lightsaber. Myth confirmed. Isn't that insane? So I don't know if you guys remember this, but back all the way in chapter one, we had a, a dancing fish where if you emoted in front of this guy, he would dance. And I'm really hoping they kept this in the game. That would be a great Easter egg. Please dance. Yes! He dances! Myth confirmed. Oh, I'm so happy. Can you take fall damage in Loot Lake? So it's water, so normally you'd be fine. But it's also water that's like one inch deep. So, uh, let's see if it hurts. Moment of truth. I'm gonna do a 360. Woo! And... You know, I'm not surprised, but I'm still sad about it. Myth busted. Have you ever wanted to fish, but you didn't have a fishing rod? No worries. Apparently, you can fish with the new mythic items. Why? I don't know. But apparently, if you just throw a thunder spear at some fish, you get fish. Three small fries. Yay. Try that one more time. Give me some fish. Yay, a flopper. So yeah, it works. Myth confirmed.